Okay, so. So, so, so. Show information about training. So, customers would like to see entire training plan and description somewhere in training screen. So, we just... I just added this info button. Now, when customer will open user, let's say user, not customer. When user will open the training screen, we have this info button and then we need to show the description of the training. Okay, and we will do that somewhere, somewhere, somewhere here. Let's add new Swift UI screen, and that will be training info view, something like that. Okay, so. Now we already in exercise view can show instead of empty view we can show the training info view which is still like empty screen not really empty we have hello world in it but almost empty Okay, let's check. So, okay, here it is, or hello world. So, I think that we can basically feed the training to that screen. Show also that kind of basic information of that screen on the top, and then kind of list the phases or steps of the training kind of below could be nice of course to do some design first but who have time for that uh, actually let's see maybe i can steal some inspiration from let's say mobbing 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 how it was mob mobbing design Login. Good morning, Ilya. Hello. Batumi. Oh, nice. Hello. Good morning. Let's see. Download plugin now. Thank you. So, I would like to have two, two, two screens. Let's go maybe to the fitness apps to see to start steal some inspiration i operate two dating apps in play store and they make about 100k usd in a year do you think i should explore other ways or focus on dating app segments Ooh. that's like more like you know business asking for business advice you can go in so many ways you can you can if you are making 100k you can for example uh hire team and uh with, with, with investors money you know and kind of improve your existing applications and grow them to the whatever level but uh i don't know if you have kind of two apps probably you already have some revenue diversification and i personally if you are asking what i will do i will not go for investors money i will kind of work on my own and uh, yeah i will basically try to increase revenue 
starts uh, slowly and if you have basically any any other ideas for other apps yeah why do not build one more but if you already have two applications which generates around 100k probably you are quite busy working on them so yeah If the iQnix keyboard will accept any other keycaps, yes, they are MX. Uh, how those was cherry compatible? Good morning, Kevin. Uh, oh, maybe I th maybe that could be something like I'm thinking how that screen could look. That could look something like like this basically cards for each step huh yeah core ml oh you ask it in comments yeah i will i'm not kind of uh, answering comments as they appear sorry <laughs> but i'm trying to come back to each and every of them but uh core ml i build just one test application and that's it 150 combinated hmm. I, I personally will keep working on those applications so I probably will build something like this this looks this looks nice this looks interesting Unix keycaps are expensive. Yeah, they are definitely. Uh, I actually bought. Uh, let me check. Let me check quickly my um, purchase history. Amazon. 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 Germany. We will love your videos. Thank you. Great. Okay. Uh, orders, orders, my orders, my order history. I just bought some. Let me see. Maybe last. Yeah, that definitely was last year. I'll, I will find keycaps which I bought. Give me a second. Oh, here it is. So I bought this set of keycaps. Okay, that's Amazon Germany. But basically the point is that those are just some random keycaps. And uh, why I can't paste in the chat? Oh, here it is. I'm not saying those are kind of great or something. Those are just keycaps which were working for my uh, iQnix keyboard. So basically you can buy any like that and that will work. <laughs> Two likes. <laughs> nice. Hey, Peter. Hello. I'm doing great. Thank you. likes that doesn't how it works <laughs> that is not how it works okay so I think that something like something like something like cards like that could work in my screen so basically I could how on the very top something like description but let's keep it simple. Something like description of the exercise on the top. I 
I'm kind of starting to think already five steps forward. So <laughs> sure, we can just show the training plan in the screen, but also we could use this view for training plan editing as well for those users who have access to editing them. None of users have it yet. I, that's just another kind of possible feature, but that's how you that's how you making two big project when it's not needed. Are you planning a community project? No, I don't. Because how does it will work, you know? Are you on the Dave Waver's mailing list? Mm, I don't think so. Doesn't ring the bell. I don't know who is who is Dave Waver's. Or I do not remember, let's say so. Maybe I know, but I don't remember. Yes, the weekly. Maybe. Thinking of buying this one. <laughs> yeah, those prices are scary in Mexican peso. Yeah. yeah, that could work, yeah. Yeah, that will work, sure. Looks nice and will work. I use the weekly, yeah, I think that probably yes. Are you visiting IOS conferences? Uh, no. I wanted to go to the Berlin's conference right between before covid i bought the tickets i i booked the place but they canceled the event and since then yeah no never i was looking on on that uh, conference which will happen just in a, in a in a month or so in chicago but i don't know that conference was something like Six or four hundred, I don't remember how much. Yes, the conference. Mm, how it was? Deep Dish Swift, yeah. This one in May. I was looking into that. But uh, the ticket is something like how much? Six. 600 euros for two days ticket so add to that flight that's another let's say six ish hundred hundred bucks and hotel and expenses so we are talking about two plus k for two days conference it's kind of crazy expensive you know because recent posts mentioned that not many people create apps to actually solve the problems many do it for passion projects yeah it is so that's problem with indie apps ueconf yeah exactly that was ueconf uh, i bought tickets uh, to that you should apply to speak uh, i don't know i'm not sure i was asked to speak in local kind of some local event but uh, i don't know I don't have time for that now, maybe I will do that on autumn. How do you search this for... Oh, that's not easy a question to answer. That's, uh, that's That can be at least one hour long discussion, you know, Ilya. Uh, easy and short answer is I'm making apps for myself. That's easy and short, but that's very kind of on high level. For example, this application that I'm working right now, I like snorkeling, I like surfing, I use it to do spare fishing, therefore I build this application. You're old enough, interesting to know if you know Russian, 
Yeah, yeah, I know Russian. I was born in USSR and when Latvia was occupied by Soviet uh, Union. Sure, I had to learn Russian. I'm, I, I have no hard feelings about knowing Russian. <laughs> Every language is kind of, I don't know, it's plus. I can speak fluently uh, Russian as well, so no problems with that. Dobre utra, for example. Uh, okay, so we will have V stack here for sure. And in that V stack, I will have, let's say, let's start with text. Good morning, Handman. Let's say training description is going here. Training description will go here, and then we will have something like I learn Russian to be able to speak with my wife. Dobre, dobre, Ilya. Yeah, I I I uh, learned Russian in kindergarten. Yeah, that's good. Um, I have, okay, a bit longer, a bit longer answer is, Iversmeyers.com, basically here I have my part-time solopreneur course, and in that course I am, where it is, how we can see, and in that course I have, can I see content of it? Ah, okay, it's too long, whatever. Basically in that course I have one section about kind of finding ideas, but I'm kind of we're building that course anyway, so I'm not saying you should buy it. I'm just saying that it's coming and I'm saying that's a very long topic, but that is a suggestion from Rana. That's a good one. So, and here we will have a list and in that list, basically I will have something like objects for for the training and probably I will need to create some nice looking cards. I want to create my own security system, ring and push device. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, and in this list we will need to have some kind of cards. And I would like to build something similar to this probably. It could be how long this session will be. Then we will have description of it and some icon maybe also yeah that could work sharing data between UI kit and Swift UI is there I don't see problem sharing data between UI kit and Swift UI. Uh, I don't understand your question to be to be frank. Uh, working with data and with views 
in Swift UI and UI kit definitely are quite different, that's for sure. Because in Swift UI, your views are just looking to the data, and as soon as you change data, view will kind of follow data, right? But in the UI kit, you you how to say the view when to reload view when to fetch kind of new data and so on and so on that's different but that's isn't a pro that's not a problem of synchronization between swift ui and and ui kit uh, yeah i don't know i don't see problems there and yeah yeah that's correct good suggestion from tech suvara if you have a problem with showing Swift UI screens in UI kit view. That's that's the right way to go. UI view representable. My this project is already Swift UI only, but uh, my freelance project is uh, mostly UI kit with Swift UI views, and I'm using that UI view representable all the time in it. <coughs> Yeah, something like this looks even better. This is kind of a little bit too heavy. I don't like how it looks. This one kind of lighter. Looking better, in my opinion. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. This actually looks nicely, so... Oh my gosh, I logged out from Notion. Why? Maybe... Maybe we need Chrome. Maybe we need Chrome. So, feature. And that feature will be training program detail view. Design will be something like that. I just want to have it somewhere here. something like that Do -do -do. I suppose business logic will be you like it with Swift UI um, so Neil yeah UI kit with Swift UI views will work but question is why do you need to mix both let's say if you are just starting new project today start with Swift UI SwiftCon released new videos from 
Good morning, I keep two at night. Oh my gosh. How Sony MX work with Mac? It works fine. Do miss special audio. I do not care about special audio. Uh, I have it disabled in my AirPods Pro. Uh, I, I don't see reason to use it on Mac. I see how special audio could be useful in Vision Pro, but on Mac, I don't know why. I don't like it. Hey, Jesser. Uh, yeah, Neil, I, I kind of missed your point. Does Swift UI involve it that much? I don't need. I don't mean. I don't know what you mean by that much. Is it ongoing question as always? Is Swift UI production ready? <laughs> I don't know. I know that there are plenty of guys who are still using Objective C. You know. You still want the Vision Pro? No. no airpods mostly for working out for me for me airpods are falling out of the airs when i'm working out in winter when i'm running in hat airpods pro works just fine in summer um, those are beats fit pro for me <laughs> okay folks but you're late today slept in yeah i think that will be i like this fitbit kind of look the best spatial audio annoys me yeah it kind of uh i've i will say i agree kind of i will say annoys me probably but i don't just i just don't see the point to use it Okay, so knowing going and creating the card for the exercise, we will need that card as well. Is it okay to post the video here? Uh, I'm afraid you will not be able to post uh, links in YouTube chat. I think I disabled that. Uh, because Otherwise, porn bots was very happy to spam links. But you can try. It's it's fine for me. But I I'm not sure. I didn't disable them. Training card view will be that. Oh, not in model. In views, please. In views, please. Finally, purchased a MacBook to be able to build iOS apps. Yep. Kotlin multi-platform should be fun. Do you have any recommendations on things to look for? I have no recommendations for Kotlin multi-platform. For Swift UI, usually I have recommended resources in the description of videos. Are you working on your planking timer up? Not today. Today I'm working on free diving application. Oh, Labas Ritas, bro, Lucas. Labas Ritas. Okay, here, this card should be something like that so basically we need image and two lines of the text that's probably will be it simple so that will be horizontal stack and in horizontal stack we will go with image go let's go with system name hey Falin hello how's your morning great I love to work on my indie apps and I will try again to do that, you know, morning work on indie apps and then because late night streams and work on indie apps doesn't work well. 
I'm asking you to mix both UIKit and Swift UI is because in India these days they ask for both language in major cities where development is like major big gigants are there. So, so yeah, you can mix both. You can mix both. But, okay, my point was, sure, you can mix Swift UI and UI Kit, but today, if you are starting new application, most likely 99% I'm 99% sure that you can start with Swift UI. You don't need to start with UIKit. The mix of Swift UI and UIKit will be widely used in older projects, which already is built in UIKit, and then you're adding new screens using Swift UI. But you don't need to start from scratch building new application and mixing both together. And answering your question, question if Swift UI is involved so much that you can use both. Yes, you can even do not use UI kit. That was my answer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you are running in some problems when Swift UI is not supported in full swing, let's say MapKit, for example, is supported in Swift UI, but I guess if I remember correctly from my head, I, then annotations on MapKit views in Swift UI are not supported yet, so you need UI Kit for that. So some small nuances like that, you know? That's my answer. Okay, Jorgi. Why did you give up big monitor? for many reasons. Uh, for example, pixel density on this monitor is much better than on big monitor. This is 27 inch 5K monitor. It is sharp as a knife. <laughs> it's uh, pixel density is very high. It's 5K, 27 inches, uh, macOS scaling just perfectly on it. So that's one of the reasons. Also, for streaming, I can share it. I can share the screen on the stream and it looks okay-ish. With that uh, ultra-wide screen, basically you can't share it. If I will share all that screen, it will look on your kind of stream with kind of black bars on top and the bottom. Yeah, exactly, folks. That's just uh, if you have legacy UI kit parts in the project, sure, you will keep them. There is no reason to rewrite everything. 32 inch 6K HDR. I'm too cheap for that. That monitor is way too expensive for for me to feel comfortable to spend that. It costs something like 6K right as well not only resolution but also in money <laughs> how do you manage to focus and code while streaming i don't but uh, i have hard time to focusing anyways so here i'm just bouncing in between chat and code it's uh, not so bad Okay, we need something like timer, clock feel, clock, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mac Pro, of course, yeah, HDR, it's great, but that's overkill for programming, sure. 5k for display and 1k for the stand <laughs> amazing yeah <laughs> for app development it's overkill definitely yeah 27 inches i think it's 32 is fine as well i had 32 4k monitor uh, 27 inch you basically still can have all of the screen in your side you don't need to move head to look around 
and this 27.5k is just amazing. I went to 27.4k, I don't think I could ever do a lower resolution anymore. Yeah, it's... Yeah, totally agree, Layla. I had 49 inch, but that monitor was like 5k horizontally and 1440 vertically. And I clearly was able to see pixels and that was annoying as hell. So, I don't know. Hey Hamza. Hello. Morocco. Oh, I'm going to visit Morocco someday soon. Uh, I kind of agree, Fox, a bit with you that this 5K is not expensive for that monitor because if you compare with reference monitors which are used in uh, in film industry and which are on the, about the same level, those monitors will be more expensive. That's more like discussion. Do you is it expensive monitor to use it for programming? That's probably like that. Two thirty-two inch 4K monitors. Cool. Do you have the nano texture glass? No, I don't. I can see my reflection if I will kind of look closely in that monitor. Uh, I decided to go without this nano reflection because I'm cheap <laughs> and it's two hundred bucks cheaper and um, colors are kind of brighter, better on uh, on monitor without that coverage. I sit up. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I try to sit at that side of the room where currently I have my kind of gaming uh, setup. So behind me, let me show you. Here is another kind of setup. That one. No, that one. So when I'm sitting there, then I have. Oops, do not fall, guys. Stay tight. So then I have this window, which is in front of me, behind me, and then I have a reflection of that window in the screen. So that doesn't work. I had to move back here. <laughs> Hello, your videos keep it up. Thank you, I will do. Yeah, sure, Hamza. Seven four K sweet spot. Ooh. Yeah, I had that one thirty two inch four K. That is cool as well. <laughs> we just getting sun back. Yeah, falling. We just getting sun back. Yeah. Do you get any ice rain for having the window in front of you as the? and the extra light? Probably no. Off to the bed. Okay, I'm off to the freelancing in a in a bit. M7 gang, yep. Uh, no, I do not mind tying my backhand at all. Talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, let's do so. Okay, which clock? Maybe this one. Time to do some work. Exactly. And let's see. Air. Do we have something like air? Air. Now let's say wind. Maybe we have wind. Oh, this will work. Wind. If 
freelancing seems so different in Europe from the US. Hmm. Maybe. Actually, yeah, I like this wind in circle. Copy name. So let's put it here. And we will need it bigger, of course. Let's go for a sizable. And let's make it something like frame. Do we do it in frame? I already forgot how we do that. I had it somewhere here. Yeah. Frame like that. Let's say something like 50 maybe. And height as well, 50. About April's draw, how you silicon caps become yellow, which draws time. I don't know. Uh, no, but uh, this is, I don't know, basically I have somewhere another pyre. And that was changed three times until it ran out from warranty. This is AirPods uh, second generation, AirPods Pro second generation. And I replaced them once as well. So basically I'm using them less than a year. So no, they're not yellowish. Meaning Europe seems to hire freelancer for companies while US hires consultants. Oh, actually I'm working as a consultant for European countries. So that's not the same everywhere, but yeah. I see your point, Lord, it, and you are kind of right. It looks like that, but it's not like kind of common kind of rule or something uh, because yeah I am using as a consultant for now for the company okay let's go here with vstack and in vstack I will have two text things text there will be title oh my gosh not like that like that and that will be something like, I don't know, font, 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 something like here that will be maybe too big. Header, something like header two. Show me how big it will be. Oh, what's wrong with you? Header, header what? Okay, let's go just header. Are we good now? Okay. Font size, probably that was font size. Font weight. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Hey Vortex. Hey Revested. What's wrong with you? It should be font and then... Oops, sorry. I don't know what's going on in my body. Style. Title. Will that work? Uh huh. Finally. Okay. And text. And this will be something like subtitle. No, that, that will be description. Description. Oh, well, actually, let's, let's say. Let's go. Ventilate. That will be something like ventilate and timestamp something like i don't know let's say zero 
32 whatever okay Something like that could work, and maybe that will be spacer here to move it everything to the left. And we definitely will need padding here, something like that. And for this V stack, we will have alignment alignment oh my gosh what was that alignment leading oh my gosh what's going on leading leading What did I do just now? Okay, text V stack, and there I had my H stack auto complete somewhere, broke something. Are we back? Okay, and this text placeholder I have no idea why auto complete added it here. Go away. What do you think about Flutter? Oh my gosh, that's deep. <laughs> okay, we are running out of music. Let me restart the music. Now I need to take a short break. Let's say that will be your coffee break or something. Where I have my coffee break message? Do I have it? Do, 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 do. Be red, black. This one? This one. Yeah, I see. My stake isn't closing, that's sure. Because uh, autocomplete kind of uh, broke my code. Of course, we are missing some. was horizontal stack yeah it's wrong we have one stack too much whatever I don't know why this is from where this H stack come here. Basically we need something like that. That's what I wanted to create, this one. Okay, I will be back in a minute or few. Oh, actually, I just realized that I have to start freelancing in a, about in about now, in about twenty minutes. So I will wrap up YouTube stream for now. I will stay for that co-working stream on Twitch, but uh, I will not be able to share the screen anymore. And we are going to this. Freelancing, co-working, running, um, running timers for Pomodoro timers, all that stuff. 
So I will go and grab maybe another coffee. And then I will come back. Let's say coffee break for now. Let me restart the playlist. <laughs> 